Okay. Now, here we're going to talk about um, um, learning the notes on the guitar. And the first basic thing that you have to know is the open strings. And if, if we, you know, we always call, now the standard is that the string that's the highest pitch string closest to the floor when you're holding the guitar is called the first string. This is not the first string, even though it's closest to your face. Um, if, if you call this the first string, you're, you're opposite of everybody else in the world. So we call this the first string. So, and that gets a little tricky when you say, play the fourth string, you know, you're, you're doing the fourth string from here, not the fourth string from here, which would be that, the third string, actually. So, um, and that's, you know, you just want to make sure you're on the same page with everybody else. I saw, you know, an, a blues video, finger-picking ragtime guitar, and it was really good. The instructor was very good, but he was calling this the first string, and that really just bugged me to death. You know, <laughs> so, you know, some people, you know, they stick to their guns, you know, but, um, but anyway, the, you have to know the names of these notes, and it's E, B, G, D, A, E. And um, I made up a sentence, every big gorilla does aerobics every day. E, B, G, D, A, E. Now, I had a student that made it up the other way, if you're calling this the first string, which you shouldn't. Uh, and it's uh, Eddie ate dynamite good by Eddie. And uh, I think he made it up. He came in one day and said it. Maybe he got it from somebody else. Eddie ate dynamite good by Eddie. E A D G B E. But you need to just learn, learn the letter names. If those things help you, you know, for a while, that's okay. But, and what I often drilled with my students was learn the first three strings. Just learn three strings. E, B, G. And just say them. E, B, G. Try mixing them up. B, G, E, B, E, G and learn those three, and then tackle the fourth, fifth, and sixth strings. Uh, D, A, E, D, A, E, A, E, D, A, D, E. You know, just know what the names of them are. You should just know it. And uh, that's the first thing. Learn the open strings, and then we're going to learn to uh, figure out the natural notes. Now that's notes that have no sharps or flats. And that would be like the white keys of a piano. The black keys are the sharps and flats. The white keys are the natural notes. And they're really easy. It's the uh, seven letters of the alphabet from A, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. And that's it. You know, it's only seven letters. And you think, all the music that's been written with seven notes, you know. But actually, there are more notes because you do have sharps in between. Like if you're on the A string, which is the open string, you have A and then A sharp, B, C, C sharp, D. Well, we're not going to worry about that right now. We're just going to learn A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Now, if you notice, sometimes I'm going one fret, and sometimes I'm moving two frets. Now, how, how do I know that? And actually, when you go two frets, like from C to D, it's third fret to the fifth fret. So we're skipping the fourth fret, which would be a C sharp or a D flat. But um, when you go skip a fret, that's called a whole step. And if you only went one fret, that would be a half step. 
So whole step, half step. And actually you have a half step here from B to C. And that's the other point is that you need to know in those seven letters of, of the musical alphabet that the half steps fall from B to C and from E to F. So if you, if you know anything about piano, you have two white keys together with no black key in between where you have a B and a C and then where you have an E and an F and uh, two white keys together. Now, on the guitar you don't see white and black keys so you have to learn to figure it out and it's not hard. You know, we're, we're just saying the alphabet from A to G and then ending on A again. After G you go to A again but it's a register higher than the, like the original A might be this open A and then the high A, it's still an A, but it's an octave higher than the first A I played. So I'm playing A, whole step to B, half step to C, because that's one of our half steps, B to C, whole step to D, whole step to E, half step to F, whole step to G, whole step to A. And now we're at the 12th fret. Now we could keep going, A, B, C, D, E, F, um, but right now we're just going to focus on the open string to the 12th fret. And once you get that down, so it's A, same as you play them, A, B, half step to C, D, E, half step to F, G, A. So you have half steps from B to C and E to F and all the other notes are a whole step apart. Okay, so once you get up to this 12th fret, then try going backwards. Ah, you know, so that's A, G, F, half step to E, D, C, half step to B, A. Okay, and then try all six strings and do them every day. Um, maybe two or three times each if you have time, you know, and learn to figure them out. And when you do them, just use your first finger. Don't try to, you know, shift around with a whole bunch of complex fingerings. Just one finger so that you're very simple. Uh, normally we don't play with one finger, but we are here. So on the E string, E, half step to F. So it's first fret. G, a, B, half step to C, whole step to D, whole step to E. And I'm going backwards. E, D, C, B, A, G, F, E. G string. Third string. G, whole step to A. Sorry. And then B, half step, C. E, half step to F, G. And then G, F, E, D, C, B, A, G. So be careful about the open string to the first fretted note. Uh, it's real easy to think they're all going to be on the first fret, and that's not true. Uh, e to F, it is the first fret because E to F is one of our half steps. So from the open string to the first fret is a half step. But if you remember the A string, the open string to the B, a to B was a whole step, so it was second fret. So there are three strings that start out with a half step, and then there are three strings that start out with a whole step. I've seen people get off because they just sort of get it in their head that the first note they fret is always going to be the first fret, you know, and that's not true. So you have to really think and be accurate and double check everything. In the book, this is page 45 of my beginner, uh, beginning rock guitar level one book. And it's just the first thing talking about music theory. This is sort of in the category of music theory, learning the names of the notes. Because when you're playing a riff like, and you're reading it in tab, you don't really have to know the names of any of those notes. You don't have to know that that's a B, this is a C, this is a D and a C sharp, you know, or 
or D flat, you know. And, and but eventually, it's good to know your instrument, and part of that is learning the notes that are on your instrument. And so it's real easy. We're doing the six strings, you know, E A D Eddie A dynamite good by Eddie. And then we're learning the notes like on the D string, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D. Now if you get to D again and you're not at the 12th fret, that means you got off somewhere. So be careful and learn it backwards and forwards. And now the next thing to do after you can go through all six strings and figure out the notes, the thing is, is getting them to stick in your head. You know, figuring them out, like if I say, find A on the fourth string, you'll go D, E, F, G, A. Okay, there it is. You know, but it, you had to kind of figure it out. You should know A is the seventh fret of the fourth string. And I'll show you how to figure that out, how to learn every note on the guitar and just know the fret. And it's not all that hard. But... Um, the, before we do get into that, the same thing that we were just doing, try to do like from the open string to the fifth fret, but do it faster. Just learn four notes really fast. A, B, C, D. A, B, C, D. A, B, C, D. D, E, F, G. D, E, F, G. G, A, B, C. G, A, B, C. And then go backwards, you know, C, B, A, G. C, B, A, G, G, F, E, D, G, F, E, D. And think of a group of four notes, but learn those notes really well. And you'll see the same patterns. Like here we've got A, B, C, D. We've got the same pattern here. A, B, sorry, A, B, C, D. See? And uh, so I would focus on the open string to the fifth fret. Because the fifth fret is kind of a reference fret. And then try to focus on, um, you know, I would focus on the fifth fret to the twelfth fret. That's going to be five notes, like A, B, C, D, E. A, B, C, D, E. And just learn to do it so you don't have to go A, no, oh, wait a minute, this is B, uh, half step to C. You don't want to go that slow. You don't want to be real sluggish. You want A, B, C, D, E. Yeah. E, D, C, B, A. And then, like on the third string, I'm just skipping around. Um, C, D, E, F, G. G, F, E, D, C. But just do it in one direction until you know it really well. C, D, E, F, G. C, D, E, uh, sorry, C, D, E, F, G. And uh, the chart in the book on page 45, you can see those notes and kind of study them visually. It's good to be able to visualize your guitar even when you don't have it in your hands. You know, to be able to think of fifth fret of the first string and imagine playing it without playing it. You know, imagine your finger there and playing it. Visualize what you're doing. Okay? So that's the first lesson on figuring out the notes on the guitar. It's not that hard. And we're just doing the sharp, I mean the <laughs> natural notes, and we're later on going to worry about the sharps and flats. And it, think of it as a framework. And the natural notes that there's only seven of them, and actually um, six of those seven notes are, well, I'd say five of those seven notes are notes that we play a lot on the guitar, like E, you know, the guitar is in E, and E is the open string of the, and, you know, we play E chords and we play in the key of E a lot, so it's, you need to know E is the ninth fret of the third string, it's the seventh fret of the fifth string, it's the fifth fret of the second string. You need to know where every E is on the instrument. And A, we play in the key of A a lot. We play in the key of C a lot, key of G. So it's important to know these natural notes 
are probably the most important notes for you to learn at this stage. And then you can always figure out the sharps and flats. And we'll work on that later. But don't try to learn every note on the guitar in one sitting. But uh, just work with it and have fun with it. And uh, it's, it might be a little tedious. You know, you're going E, F, G. But do those quick notes. E, F, E, F, G, A. E, F, G, A. A, B, C, D, E. A, B, C, D, E. And just get to where you can go quickly through them. And it'll stick with you a little better. Okay? So it's not that many notes. And uh, you learn where they are in the guitar and you'll just know your instrument a lot better. Okay, great.